Tick Tick updates are coming. We know that Tick Tick is putting the final touches on a new desktop version as well as a new mobile version. And in this video, I'll share with you what I know about those new versions, as well as take a look online to see what other people have been saying. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, I'm gonna start by uh, going to Tick Tick's Twitter account, which has been fairly active recently. So if we scroll down, we can see that the most recent update that they've had is regarding their Chrome plugin which has received some updates. So that's good news. But what we're more interested in is if we keep scrolling down, they announced desktop 5.0 is in its finishing touches. So they announced that on October 26th. Uh, today's October 30th. So it sounds like it will be pretty soon that we'll see a new desktop app for TickTick. But if we take a closer look at the screenshots they provided with this announcement, you'll notice almost nothing. In fact, I can't see a single thing that's changed. In fact, I'm not seeing anything that's changed. Let me know in the comments if you guys see any differences with these screenshots that they've provided with what's currently available for desktop and web right now. All right, so let's go back to their Twitter account and look at some of the other announcements that they've made. So if we keep scrolling back down further in history, here's the announcement for the new mobile, 7.0. And on this one, we don't get any sort of details, no screenshots or anything like that. We just know that a 7.0 mobile version is on its way. And they're also counting down to the release, so it should be soon as well. Now I'm on the beta version of the mobile app on Android. And I keep checking and it keeps showing last updated was September 25th and we're on version 6.9 point something. And so we don't have any 7.0 version yet, even for the beta users. However, if I go over to the uh, Tick Tick subreddit and scroll down, there's a few posts about 7.0. And this is the most interesting one here titled some of the new features coming to 7.0 and the user gives a screenshot of what they see on the beta version of the iOS app. So it seems that iOS beta users already have 7.0 and here's what they've been instructed to test. For tasks, the detail page now features a pop-up style providing a lighter viewing experience. The detail pages action menu supports adjusting the order ensuring a more user-friendly experience. Over on the calendar, the list calendar view now supports displaying a timeline, chronicling your day's schedule along a timeline. So this was the view that I just recently talked about in my last video, the list uh, calendar view. So if you'd like a sneak peek on what that looks like, you can see that in my previous video. The monthly calendar view offers an enhanced browsing experience. Swipe up and down to navigate schedules easily for better planning. And Pomodoro, support for pausing and selecting tasks in focus full screen mode, making it more convenient. And support for automatic activation of the full screen mode, which can be enabled in focus settings. So again, for being a brand new version 7.0, just based on what this description shows, I don't think there's a lot of updates. I don't think it's as big of an update as they're portraying it to be, or as maybe the users are hoping for. You know, I know a lot of users, especially on the web and desktop versions, would really like a user interface upgrade. And it doesn't look like a UI upgrade is coming with either the mobile app or the desktop or web apps. And just to confirm that, if I scroll down in the comments, um, the the original poster says, I'm running the 7.0 beta and they're happy to answer questions. And somebody asks any design changes and they answer, there are no major design changes on the mobile app. And so I think the same is gonna be true for the desktop and web app. So with that said, I do wanna say that I really enjoy using an app that is being actively developed. Uh, they're always consistently making upgrades 
uh, trying to improve the app, even if it's for things behind the scenes or that we can't see, like it seems maybe this new version is going to be. I'm okay with that. And even though I kind of would like to see a UI upgrade as well, although I don't mind the current UI as much as some folks, um, I do really like that the TickTick -tick team is actively developing TickTick. -tick. Well, that's all I had for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.